guys wanted a tutorial on how to do the 3D UI on the HTC HD2. Um, so this is it, but uh, sorry it's so long I had to compress pretty much everything I knew into like 10 minutes. So. so that's the first thing you'll notice is the lock screen. Uh, it's actually an app called Ripple Lock. It's pretty cool. You can download it from the app market for free, I'm pretty sure. Well basically this project started out as me just wanting to kind of change my phone into more of a tablet-like feel because I couldn't wait for the NVIDIA Kalel tablet to come out so I thought I might just try doing something cool like that. The first thing you want to try and do is um, download Saijin Mod 7 Nightly ROM, uh, I think it's version 3.02. Uh, the reason for that is because of this, it's the notification bar at the bottom so apparently it doesn't work with newer versions. So it's quite cool like that. Um, and as you can see I've got some swipe command, swipe down to remove it, swipe up to get to the normal app drawer. Okay, if you go into settings, okay the launcher I'm using is AWD EX. So go into settings and this is the setup I have to kind of make everything work. First you're gonna have to change the icon size. Um, so select new icons, and for new icon settings I have the text size as 10, icon size is 53, now that's a fair bit smaller than the usual, and um, just because I think it looks nicer really. Yeah, you can play around with that if you want. Uh, main dock, I decided to hide it, so just expand the desktop really, or else it looks horrible pretty much. The style, horizontal fling. Going into general behavior, um, animations, this is where all the business happens really, so screen transition effect was effect 1, the original. Uh, scrolling speed, 677, desktop bounce, and this is important, if you have it too high it just looks silly, so 28 is what I have it on, but because the dock is hidden at the side, to have this to actually open up the app drawer. So yeah, there will be no way of doing that if you had that. And this, as I mentioned earlier, was just to hide the status bar. That just pretty much gives you that secondary option, secondary motion you can see there. But to get the actual main flipping, what you need to do is download multi-picture live wallpaper. Now, if I just go into the settings here, see what I've done. Change the saturation a bit. On screen three, sorry, I have the background fade to white, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so transition type. You can, I've chosen 3D rotation, but you can actually do quite a few things and random, I tried that, it looks pretty cool but it can get pretty hectic so I'll <laughs> not try that right now. Um, so I've got a couple of reflections going on, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, yep, yeah, double tap when you change the picture, picture interval, I so said 30 seconds. And I think that's about it. So show you what I meant by the white, so you can see it's kind of grey when you flip more screens and it goes to black, go back this way and it does the same kind of thing there. Okay so I changed my mind, <laughs> this is what happens when you put it on random transitions, so you know it's So yeah, cool thing is um, that home still works, but it actually just stays on the picture you have pretty much. If you double tap, it changes your picture, changes all of them, except I've made this one stay the same, you can do that in the options, so that's always the same. Yes, you see when you double tap one, it changes all of them, so you go back, double tap, it's changed, and that will be changed. It's quite interesting just having variety every time you look at your phone, it's always different, which is great. Works fluidly most of the time but as you saw there a bit of stutter but that's very rare. So that's why I recommend this ROM as well. It's fast. It's a lot faster than some of the stock new phones that are coming out. Second thing you want to kind of do is download 
honey bread theme for AWD launcher, so go settings, themes and preferences, you can see it's honey bread, download that, install it and that gives you the stuff down the bottom if you can see it, it's a bit blurry and kind of, if you get an option, say, um, or like this Google, it's a bit different. Most of the notifications that come up and pop up on the screen will be a bit different as well, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, this music application is called 3. That's it. Um, it's quite nice, pretty good. And uh, another thing, to stop my screen from randomly rotating around, I've downloaded um, this quick app called Orientation Control Orientation. Yeah, Orientation Control. What that does pretty much is just stop your screen from flipping into portrait randomly, or when you auto rotate, you can obviously disable it or put it on auto rotate if you want. But um, I just found that really helped with a lot of things, including the lock screen. Okay, so here I've got an app called Simi Clock. That's this. Um, this is a circular battery widget which you can't really see there. Um, that's tasks, um, and this is weather. Uh, this is called Beautiful Widgets, I'm pretty sure, and um, just the weather one. I can't remember, I'll put it in the description. Um, what else? I've got a calendar app called um, Juote, as you saw in the top. I'll put that in the description. All these apps will be in the description, by the way. So um, it's quite nice, it's actually a really nice calendar. So I just replaced the stock one really, you can do most things with that. As for the widgets, as you can see they're a bit different, so text messages is a bit different, calendar you can see there, YouTube, whatever. Um, so what I did for that, so if I just go and edit it, I've got different theme packs for AWD launcher, icon packs. Downloaded Android Phone 7 and AWD Mac OS theme, and those are both free I believe, so that's what kind of gives that kind of feel on my computer. And I've made a few system folders and everything, made them, everything's a lot smaller. This is Colorize Widgets, Facebook. Um, there's a few of them, and I've just made it um, transparent, I'm pretty sure. So if you click on my system, it's got most of my settings and stuff. I've downloaded something called Subtle Toggle Settings, which is quite good, it's got like you know, different profiles and stuff and so if you want to turn on 3G just a quick place to get to it Wi-Fi, aeroplane mode, all that kind of thing. So this is my video player It's extremely good It plays pretty much anything you want it to So this is the one I use in the video um, So even if it gets to something, say, you see how everything's got previews but if it gets to something where it doesn't because the format is unrecognized, you'll play it and you'll be like, oh no, sorry, it can't be played but then you go here and soft decoding and it actually will play it for you and if you want. So that's not the actual audio, that's actually music that's just come up, I'm not sure why. But yeah, um, you can resize it like so. Um, you can increase the volume, I mean brightness, increase it, whatever. Volume, probably turn that down. Okay. Um, good chip clip to choose, I guess. Um, yeah, you can skip across, whatever. Yeah, this player is called Mobo Player, just in case you're wondering. I'll just quickly show you the text messaging app. Now, as you can see, customized. It's called Chomp SMS. Keyboard's different. Um, it's actually a keyboard from XDA. I'm pretty sure it's called um, Droid X Keyboard. It actually screwed up. It's meant to look nothing like this, but um, this is how it turned out. And um, I don't know, and just better than the stock messaging app, really. Customize that background, the text, whatever you want, really, so it's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's basically it. Now, um, I'd say if someone could make this into a ROM, or if I could make this into a ROM, I'd be pretty, pretty happy. Like, if I built everything in, the apps and everything, it'll be pretty much the best. There'll be no more of that searching around for the best HTC HD2 one will just be this because really played around with a lot a lot of SD cards a lot of RAM sorry your know, RAM ROMs and ROM ROMs and really it's just this has been the best the smoothest fastest 
more good use for. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, cheers, and catch you later. Here's an iPod Touch 4G. Let's have a look how customizable this is. It's pretty good, hey?